unto thee, Lord, and year after year make us worthy of thy service. O Lord, with the passing of every day, the duration of life is seen to shorten, and uh, youth is decaying. The days that are gone will never return. Time is the, the eater of the world. Fortune is very fickle, short-lived as ripples on the surface of water, while life is momentary, like the flash of lightning. Therefore, O Lord, O protector of all, I pray and ask thee for thy protection and help us, Lord, to overcome the negativity of life. Prem Sivolo Siapati Ramachanda Ki Jai Hari Om And here we're going to look at how Sri Ram knew that Ravan is going to abduct Sita. Why he allowed that to happen when he was the Lord, he could have killed Ravan right away as he come to do that. So, he allowed it to happen in a, in a way that we must understand how it happened, so that we can learn also the difference between a noble person and a wicked person. Do not get in company with the wicked devotees. They can tell you sweet words, but the action is going to be bitter, worse than pepper. And so don't listen to such people. Their words of promise or whatever has destruction. 
And so you must know who to listen to, who to accompany, etc. That's why coming to Mandir gives you some kind of insight into the different character of different human beings. Although God made them, made us all have one creator, but our action is causing different nature in us. And so we'll take the Doha. Sita was given also by not, not by us, but great souls. But the real name of Sita is by Dehi. And you know what that means? By Dehi. Dehi means body. By Dehi means without a body. She was bodyless, but appeared as body. And in other words, devotees, why I'm mentioning this, that many things that people try to steal, snatch, etc. They only appear to be real, they're not real. They're more problem than anything else. So always remember that. Remember Sita story. And so Lakshman Gaya Jab Banahi Java. Lakshman Ram and Sita were together, then Sri Ram sent Lakshman go and get some flowers and swamp from the so we can do our puja, so to speak. Because Sri Ram knew now that this is the time when Ravan is coming to snatch Sita away. And so, that's why you can never steal what is real devotees. <laughs> that's how by day he coming to, 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 in meaning. She was called Sita, but her real condition was she was bodiless, only appeared. So what Ravan will snatch is not the reality, is a shadow. What people stealing today and ever since is not the reality, is shadow, as according to the uh, teaching of the scripture. And so it says here, uh, when Lakshman went to pick the flowers and so on, the Lord spoke to Sita Mata in a very loving and nice way. What he told her? Chapai. <laughs> Sri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Sri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Sri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Sri Ram Jai Ram, 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 Ram,
come before that situation arise. So Tulsidas was very smart to make sure you don't misinterpret what happened later on, so to speak. And so in this chapter we just read, Sri Ram is speaking to Sita. Sunahu Priya Bratitrukhi Sita, oh darling, oh, oh uh, Sita Mata. My kut sundar manushinila karna chatam. I am going to perform some human drama, very beautiful human drama. And so, in that drama, I want to destroy the wicked ones, the Rakshasas, and Nashkarva. Uh, uh, and till then, please enter into fire and leave your shadow only. So, in other words, what Ravan is going to snatch is not the real Sita, it's the shadow only. That is why at the end of the Ramayana, Sri Ram is going to tell Sita, the shadow Sita, all right, give up this body now. And some interpreters interpret that as, how can he tell Sita to give up his body, her body? He, he, she was asked to give up that false body, shadow, and come back from the fire as reality, so to speak. And so it, here it says here, that until I don't destroy the wicked demons, Include like Ram and so on, enter into fire, <coughs> Agni. <coughs> and so she will enter into fire. Jago Sri Ram Ji ne yeh sab jagar ka. When Sri Ram explained to her what he's going to do, then Janki <coughs> enter into the fire and uh, with tender, with loving attitude, <coughs> she left her shadow to act for her. So devotees, <coughs> there is a deeper meaning to this. Excuse me. <coughs> what what we most not most all every human being, the action is like action from shadow, not reality. <coughs> How do we do? What what is reality really? <coughs> when we come to realize the soul. And when we know that it's not my body, my body is only an instrument of the soul. The soul is really doing what it has to do. And in that way, you never commit sin. No sin. There's no sin in the soul. But when you, are when you assign all actions to the body and the mind and intellect, in philosophy, it's called BNI, body, mind, and intellect. That's where we talk about sin, etc. But the moment you move your action from BNI into the Atma itself, let the soul perform, there is no sin whatsoever. And so, Topai. Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram
something wrong with you. Be careful. A wicked person's sweetness is not really good. And when a good person speaks harsh with you, then that harshness is good because he meant well for you. Remember that. So when you know that a person is not good in character, wicked, whatever, no matter how, how much sweet he talk to you, don't listen to such a person. And here it, the Chopai says, Now in Nietzsche ke ati dukhdai. In Nietzsche ka vandana uh, bhi bahut hi dukhdai hai. Even a wicked person praise you, talk good about you, don't worry. He don't, he don't mean that. This is what your mind is saying here. And uh, that Nietzsche ka vandana bhi bahut hi dukhdai hai. Jai se ankush dhanusha aur saap aur vildi ka that the sweet words, Pyari Bhash means sweet words, of a wicked person has ter terrible danger in it. Don't listen to such a person. And this is wonderful advice given to all of us here that once you know that a person's character, what more person is behaving bad and he's talking nice to you, you better don't listen to that person. Or you're gonna be really taken, you'll be destroyed, so to speak. And so, your mind is telling us that, and it says here that, Dushki pyari baat bhi bhayanak hai. Jaise, just as how, no matter how nice, beautiful, handsome a person may be. But a person is really a robber, a cheater as well. Don't follow that person. Beauty is not really the real character of the person. And so, next up, I... <laughs> shadow, Sita he saw, not the reality. And so sometimes the shadow looks more beautiful than the reality that betray us badly. And so as um, he, he, Ravan saw her, Ravan had um, 
a servant, so to speak, I call, let me call him the servant, Marich. And he goes to Marich and said, look, I want you to do something to me. I want you to uh, mislead, uh, become the golden deer and attract Sita so that I can get a chance to snatch her away. And so Marich first would give him advice. I don't think you're doing the right thing. So Ravan threatened Marich. If you, uh, Marich said, if I go to do that, I may be killed by Sri Ram. So Rama told him, he's either way you're going to die. If you go and you die, that's up to your job. But if you don't go, I'm going to kill you now. And so Marie said, I better die at the hands of God than die at the hands of this demon righteous Ravan. And so he would disguise himself as a golden deer to attract Sita. But then Sita had already entered into fire and he attacked only the shadow of real Sita. In other words, devotee, uh, that's why uh, people speak of relative reality, an absolute reality. What's the difference? Relative reality is what most of us have get carried away, but we don't seem to know what is absolute reality. Absolute reality is what we should think of. And so as uh, marriage is told to disguise as the golden deer to attract Sita, we take one more chop eyes. Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram 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 If you don't listen to me, if you don't do what I'm saying, I'm going to kill you now. The marriage is saying here, either way I see death. If I don't go, on, I'm going to be killed. And if, if I go and be killed there by the Lord, I'll be, die too. But then which, which death is better? I'd rather die at the hands of God than to die at the hands of this demon here. And that is how he would go to perform this action, knowing that he would be killed, but killed by him. Blessed hands. And so as, as went to abduct uh, Sita, Apne Priyatam ke darshan se netro ko safar karke suk paunga. And so Marich is saying that I would have a, a glimpse of the Lord and my life would be successful of their salvation by doing this now. And so that is how he will go to uh, turn the golden deer so that Sita can be happy. But then the real Sita is already entered into fire. The shadow Sita is acting the role and that shadow Sita, that, that, that's really for us to devotees. What is acting the role in every human being? Have you ever thought of that? You have three things. BMI as we always say. Body, mind, intellect. 
these are the three acting for us, for most people. But there's a fourth one, the Atma, the soul. When you let the Atma, the soul act to you, then you can never go wrong, no matter what. But when the body is acting, the mind is acting, the intellect is acting, they're acting for their own self. Body wants its own happiness, mind wants its own happiness, intellect, same thing. They don't care about the soul. And so I'll always remember, am I acting to please my body? Am I acting to please my mind? Or to please my intellect? Don't you ever do that. That's where we go wrong. Act in order to please the soul. And then you will see that salvation is waiting for you. We'll take one more chapai. Jai Ram Shri Jai Jai Ram Jai Ram Shri Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram So he, after he thought it so skillfully, Sri Ramchand Ji Ke Charnu Me Pura Sne, he had pure love for God, for Sri Ram. And because of a pure love, Sne Hai Ke Ravan Ke Saad Chala. With deep love for God, he, he took the journey with Ravan to go and do what Ravan is asking him to do. Ravan Ko Vahi Jana Ki. He said, what a great job you have given me to do. And so he, he, he knew that he was going to be killed, but he said, he's going to be the other one of now. Bara Anand ke hai ki aaj mein param snehi Sri Ramchand ji ko dekhuga. Today, what a blessed day it is for me. I will get to see Sri Ram by doing this, what Ravan is asking me to do. But he knew that uh, Ram would appear there to protect Sita. And so, as he, he was saying, yeah, Ravan ko nahi, he didn't let Ravan know that, what he was thinking and what would happen, so to speak. And so, this is uh, Chan Dev, you're taking Chan, right? Nija Parama Pritam Deki Lochan Supala Kara Sukha Pahi Shri Sahita Anuja Sameta Kripani Heta Padman Lahi Navanita Dayaka Krodha Jaka Bhakti Abhati Bhakarahi Nirja Pani Sararandani To Puhi Padahi Dukha Sagarahi Marish says it what a blessed occasion I have now. Although uh, Ravan will kill me for not doing what, what he has to do, and if I won't do what I'm going to do, I'll be killed by the other side. 
such an occasion is really blessed. So Maharishi is saying that, Apne petam ke darshan se netro ko safar karke, I will, my eyes will be successful in seeing the blessed Lord, so to speak, jidka krod bhi moksh dene wale hai. And God is so great that even when he's angry with you for what you're doing, you can get salvation for, because of his anger. Let the Lord always think of you devotees and serve him. Once you're doing a job, any job, no matter how good it is, or how otherwise it may look, but you're doing it for his sake. His salvation is in store for you. Says the text is that uh, Bhagwan ko bhi vash me kar leti hai. Vahi shuk ke samudra hari. Shri hari apne hato se raun baan chaha kar mujhe baanye. And so Maharish is saying that what a blessed occasion I have now. The Lord himself will take his iron bow to kill me because I'm going to, I'm going to serve Ravan, but my intention is not on Ravan. My intention is serving God. And if this is what he's asking me to do, to become the golden deer so that he can get to steal seat away, when I become the golden deer, the Lord is going to, going to kill me. Because he will know I'm, uh, 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 who am I. The golden deer is only a kind of a deceitful thing, so to speak. And so, in, in, in the next reading, we'll talk about how when we came the golden deer, deer, how the Lord ran after the golden deer. But the scripture will say that Marich, who became the golden deer, said, What a blessed, how blessed I am. Most devotees got to run to get God. But my action, my karma causing me, God is running after me. What, what a blessed occasion it is. And so next week we'll check, look at that. Doha. Blessing it is. Everybody got to run to find God. God is running to find me. I got something really blessed. And that's what the book is saying. When your work is really great, if God will run after you. And so, devotees, that is what Mampate Dharad Havata. Maharaj is saying that God is going to run after me with his iron bow. And I will turn around and look and have a glimpse of the Lord. Hari <coughs> Om. Next week we'll continue from here on. Shriya Pati Ramachandra Ki Jai. Hari Om. And so next week we'll see what an occasion for so my reach. To turn around and look and run around and running after him to kill him. What an occasion is going to be for him. Thank you very much and uh, we'll continue this topic next week again.